I don't think there's any doubt that Serena Williams knows she's a contender. The defending champ, battle of big forehands, Elena Dementieva. Serena Williams does her homework. She's going after the weakness. 56% of those first serves and second serves to the forehand of her opponent. Yeah, it really is. And Serena's been working on that serve, and it shows. The movement, being aggressive. Yeah, Look at that forehand over the side part of the net. And Serena shows she's got the range, too. She's really moving well on the grass. Watch her attack, and then look at the reach to get up. That's why she's so tough to play. You can't pin her against the baseline, then she'll attack you. She won the first set 6-2. Here's the second set. Nice drop shot. Then she covers this. She only missed two returns, so she's so offensive with the serve and very effective with the return of serve. <laughs> Put the exclamation point on the win. She does it in 50 minutes, gets in 77% of her first serves. In four matches, she's broken serve 18 times. She's won 11 straight Wimbledon matches. Jennifer Capriotti, the last to beat her at Wimbledon in 01. It's all been my determination and just fatigue of having to accept these strenuous losses and it was just really hard for me to take and every time she played so well in the key points and I didn't and you know it was just like you know I'm gonna try a little harder and I think that was the major turnaround. Well, here's how Jennifer made it into the quarters taking on Anastasia Moschino one of those tough Russians. A very tricky Russian because she hits the ball so flat. Watch the depth from both women driving the ball into the corners looking for that down the line opening and Capriati finds the short cross court. She wins the first set 6-2. I have a lot of problems with Jennifer, though. Watch this. On the return of service side, right in the center of the court, you have to get the ball out to the sides. A little concern over Jennifer's shoulder coming off the last round, but didn't seem to be a problem today. Well, only two aces, five double faults. That's a problem. 52 minutes, she moves on. 65% of her first serves in. She wins 80% of those points. Breaks her four times. How about Jennifer facing Serena? The last few times, I've um, I've lost all of them and in some really tough matches and some close matches and where I was ahead. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to be thinking about all that. Just uh, it's basically new days, start from scratch, and... Um, you know, that's it. Just try to play my own game. And the battle of the young Russians and the fairy tale is over for Maria Sharapova. But what a run as Svetlana Kuznetsova in her Wimbledon debut as well wins. Probably one of the best women's matches to date. But Sharapova goes home. I've proved that I can play against, I can really compete against, you know, top players. Um, I've proved myself that I can play really well, and uh, um, just coping. I mean, I, I love it here, you know. So for me, it's just, of course, when you lose, it's sad. But I mean, I just love the whole experience, and you know, that's a big thing for me. Mm, from the rookie to a veteran, the French Open champ, Justine Ennett Arden facing Mary Pierce, two former French Open winners. Well, you see Justine's body language, trying to drive herself. She had eight aces in this match. Little Justine throwing a little pop around the court. There's the backhand, but only three double faults. Eight aces, three double faults. I like that. She took the first set 6-3, second set action. That backhand is so world class. I would pay to watch that. Where do I pay? I mean, it's awesome. And Hernan Arden up 4-3 and looking to break. Mary Pierce has gotten better as the season's rolled on, but I'll tell you, it's tough to play a hot player like Justine. And Arden managed to make Mary Pierce look slow. She gets through in 54 minutes. And Arden wins 84% of points on first serve today. Through four matches, she's won more than 80% of her points on first serve. And she says it's taken her a while to kind of get the tempo down on the grass, but it's all coming together. 12 and 1 Grand Slam record through this year. So here's how the top of the draw looks for the ladies. There's that Serena and Capriotti, and Enner Arden will face Kuznetsova, Martina Navratilova's doubles partner. I guess that the most compelling thing there, Serena and Jennifer, what will it take for Jennifer 
to get past Serena. Believe, you have the, the powerful ground strokes, you can move around the court, but in my opinion, Serena Williams is not here to defend the title. She's here to take it once again. She wants to grab onto that trophy and say, come on, Capriati, you want a piece of this? Let's go, because you can see in the body language from Serena that she is going to be aggressive, she's gonna take it to the corners and take Capriati. Mm, well, just part of the quarters are set, quarterfinals coming your way tomorrow. We'll take a look at the bottom half of the ladies' draw when we come back. Back and for the ladies, four in, four more to go as we take a look at the bottom half of the draw. Lindsay Davenport, why doesn't Lindsay seem to act like she's a past champion? Isn't that weird? I mean, when you come here as a player, you get one of these. Check this out. That's a player's badge, you know, but you still have to go through, you know, all these, you know, searches and checks, and you throw that out when you're a champion because you get a cool little pin, and that means you belong. You're a member, but for some reason, the body language isn't there. You have to go and act like you're a champion and put away the rest of the field. So Lindsay needs to be wearing that pin as she faces Shinobu Asakura. Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> and I'll tell you, Davenport came to play. She had 24 winners, eight unforced errors, and you could see right away she was hitting the ball very, yes. He doesn't know she came to play. There he goes, yeah, he's watching. Lindsay won the first set here, and she is in the second set. Lindsay again, controlling the middle of the court. That's never been the problem. The problem is, can she move the ball to the side of the court and then be aggressive? Uh, Davenport moves on, but he isn't particularly interested. But we are as Lindsay reaches the quarterfinals in her last five Wimbledon appearances. She wins 92% of points on first serve. And hmm, could she be on that collision course with Venus Williams? Yeah. Match of revenge, Venus Williams, Vera Zvonareva, who beat her at the French. So much of the reputation is that the Williams sisters are just great athletes. They're really not tennis players. But today was a day she showed X's and O's. A great scouting report. She hit, Venus hit 73% of her serves to the forehand of her opponent. Look at that, another slice. She did her homework. Yeah, early in the set, she was already on her game, then up 5-1. And the top women just took it to everybody else today. Coming to the net, rack it up, great technique, the swing volley, and closing in once again. That's why doubles helps you so much. That abdominal injury seems to be past history for Venus. Second set, up 5-3. One of the few serves of the backhand, but again, taking the short ball, hitting it to a corner. Venus moves through in exactly 60 minutes. And she says she, she would have liked to have played a little bit better. Venus, 13 of 16 at the net. She's lost just 16 games through four rounds. To be honest, you know, it was really nice to have a win, but I didn't feel like I would have liked to have played better. I think this is, you know, one of my first days I was a little bit off of my game, but it's impossible to play perfect every every match. So now I guess maybe a little bit of a relief that you know, I've had a little of an off match and so the rest of the matches I can be on. Tough critic. She should look at Kim Kleisters who spent about 10 minutes on court total coming into this round against Ai Sugiyama, her doubles partner. And how do you stay fresh? How do you keep the mo going, this great play? Well, you continue to play aggressive, taking the transition ball, coming in, and being very effective around the net. She was 8 for 10 on the day, coming to the net. That's solid result. Placers took the first set and match point. Watch the knee bend, the acceleration into the ball. That's why she's so effective with that serve. Coming in once again, nice slice forehand, and the winner ball. Yeah, we set a match, two slices. Placers a total time on court. 16. Three hours and six minutes in four matches as she wins her tour leading 50th match. She's gotten 76% of her first serves, 21 winners, four of four on break point. And of course, she says her confidence is really high. So there's Davenport facing Venus Williams, and Kim Kleisters will meet Farina. Elia. All right, compelling Lindsay Venus. Why does Venus have that edge mentally? Because Venus can get the ball to the corners and then take advantage of the mobility failure or lack of mobility that Lindsay has. Lindsay's kind of psyched out because she knows Venus can take her power and redirect it, and that's where the Davenport Williams matchup gets kind of sticky for Lindsay.
Women's quarterfinals begin tomorrow. And up next, one of the best servers in the game takes on the best returner, Andre Agassi, Mark Phillips.